Hi, I'm Mr. Franklin, and today we're going to talk about SI or metric, the metric system and its prefixes. First off, we got to understand that we have our we start with our base unit. This could be meters, grams, liters. It's here in the middle. We also have centimeters, which is our one of our other focus uni units. So we could have centimeters, centigrams, centiliters. Centi is a prefix. And then the same with milli, and then you can also see kilometers. Notice that we don't often use hecta or deca, and we often don't, we mostly don't use deci. Um, and we're going to get into how all these fit together here. Our base unit of one meter is equal to, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Our base unit of one meter is also equal to 1,000 millimeters. Our base unit of one meter is equal to 0 0.001 kilometers, just to give you an idea of the scale. So when we're talking our base unit, it's a human size measurement. When we look at centimeters, we're looking at things we can hold in our hand. Um, millimeters is really, really fine tuning small measurements. Um, and if we go smaller than that, we're dealing with microscopic stuff and beyond. If we go above kilo, we're dealing with really super big. Another way to look at this though is if you look at each base unit, notice that I have like a staircase um, set over the top of our prefixes. But if you start at one meter here in the middle and then go down to deci, it's a step of 10, it's a factor of 10. So there are 10 decimeters in one meter. If we go from deci to centi, it's another factor of 10. And then from centi to milli, it's another factor of 10. If we go up above our base unit, they also change by factors of 10. So each step is a factor of 10. Now, if I was going to start the base unit and go to kilo, so I'm at meters and I'm going to kilometers, I could go up by a factor of 10. But I would do it three times. So 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. If we expand this out and we just look at our base unit going from our base unit of meters to kilometers, there were three steps. So one step to deca, second step to hecta, and a third step to kilo. So base unit to kilo, there's our three steps. From kilo to mega, which most of us computer savvy people, we are in the technology era, we are used to hearing kilobytes megabytes, gigabytes. Well, those same prefixes can be used for meters as well. Kilometers, megameters, gigameters, terameters, peta, and exa. But each step in this staircase is three steps or a thousand. A thousand kilometers is equal to a one megameter. But we can also go down the other end of the scale. It's base unit to millimeters. So meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. That's three steps. From millimeter to micrometer, or micrometer, is three steps, so times a thousand. Micrometer to, or micrometer to nanometer is another three steps. Nano to pico, three steps, or a thousand. Pico to femto, and then atto. So when we're getting into pico, the diameter of an atom, of the hydrogen atom, is in picometers. Okay, so we're talking super, super tiny. Microscope can't even really see it. Um, femto and atto is even super, 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 super smaller. One way to remember this, because honestly this can get quite confusing, is by this mnemonic. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Kilo is king, hecto is Henry, died is deca, bi is our base unit, drinking deci, chocolate, centi, and milk is milk. So I just write, I say it, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, and I write, and I just do it. King Henry died while drinking chocolate milk, while or by, okay? And that could be meter, liter, or grains. Okay, whatever that base unit is, okay? Most science teachers will show you that King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. I've also come up with more for the smaller end of things because we don't deal with it as often as the big stuff. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, missing no pinkies Friday afternoon. So, we can take another look at this. King Henry died 
by drinking chocolate milk, micro, I always do this backwards, micro missing, no pinkies, Friday afternoon. These are all lowercase. Kilo, hecta, deca, base unit, deci, centi, milli, micro, well, this is the Greek letter mu. You might want to Google it and see how it's actually written. This is just a regular N, if you can read my writing, for nano, P for pico, F for femto, and A for atom. Okay? And they're all lowercase. Very small. So if I'm doing a unit conversion, you're going to see one, one, two, three, four, five, six steps from kilo to milli, and then one, two, three from milli to micro, one, two, three, micro to nano, one, two, three, nano to pico. Okay.